Well, Neo wasn't lying. It was indeed a brief break <laughs> there. We are into the action quite quickly here. Pompous starting off on that T side. Funny a util bought up. Meanwhile, a kit for Kixan. Something that has kind of fallen away a little bit, I have yeah. to be honest. Not as many teams going towards the kits. The Julies are always out, despite there's like that stat, isn't there, that actually they don't get as many kills as you think. Maybe that's just because they're bought so often. B burst coming in. And there's not really any presence there for Apex. They've gone for the quick flank around. Jacob with an instant trade. Oh, and a quick headshot onto Han. That's beautiful. A lot of bodies to deal with. See what sense. And Kakanito here can find. Kakanito in particular. Hidden Ooh. out towards Shortwater. <laughs> Lovely shot around the corner. Leaves Morals all alone before that bomb's even been planted, bro. They've managed to drop that at the tail end of Monster. I think, yeah, that player that they found in towards Shortwater was indeed, or well, the short tunnel was indeed the bomb carrier. Mm. So pretty, pretty deadly stuff there. Yeah, same thing. This was done. Oh, maybe uh, it's not. The cast the curse in true fruition right now. Hang on a second. Morales has made something out of this. He's so low. But all he needs is a headshot. He's looking for a Nork. He's going to reposition. Looking for a part of his own into the danger zone of Morales. You'll see it off. That is a sigh of relief to Apex. Because that nearly went south. So damn quickly. That was pretty close, <laughs> to be honest. You know, he got a couple of shots off there, didn't he? Mm. Not going down instantly, right? It wasn't the first shot that landed. All the same, decent round from Apex. A little bit of a weird setup to deal with, right? That they had, like, no one on B, but loads and loads of connector and short control. Yeah. So, I kind of feel for Pomper in a sense that they just got... A little out positioned and yeah, if only they'd found like one more kill that could be a very different situation. All the uh, the old if buts and maybes though, when it comes down to it. Casanito. Look on something. Not gonna get anything uh at least for the time being. No one really showing. I think this is a bit of a classic from Pomp, but we saw this quite a lot in towards our previous game. This is Kind of the bread and butter, really, of Pompa. They play this very, very slow start. And then try and burst. Big nades come through as well. Ah, oh, it's a massacre. Veggie's going to get one, but that's probably all they really get from this. Yeah. Yeah, looking good. On alone. Does have that deagle. So we'll see. His, his one... Good fight would be out towards long. He's going for a, kind of a closer matchup, hoping to catch someone off in the bathrooms area. But I don't think there'll really be anything presenting. Nork's got that fam ass. He's already found three. You know, he's hungry for these ecos, isn't he? At the range as well. Should be good for him. 30 seconds, so I'm going to start to make a move. It would be nice to find one more, but I just don't foresee it happening. Khan? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... Easy, easy done in the end. Nork with all the cash, all the frags. Couple rounds on the trot. Let's see now what the rifle buy says. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I mean, that, that, again, that's a round we don't really take all that much away from it. We're not really expecting all that much. Simple and effective. So two to zero. And of course, when you look at uh, the Apex side as well, this is a good test of what they can do as well. They had a very shaky earlier game against FTW. Things did not look good for them. On but first full buy, the bonus buy for Apex, only you're getting one casualty into round fire. Good opportunity, Jacob. Right idea. Doesn't quite pull off. The nade will come through, but it goes too deep. Nothing quite presenting in the early stages for Pompa. They're just slowly gaining space. Apex unafraid to give them that room. Definitely a fan of the uh, setup here from Apex. They unfortunately are in the wrong area at the moment, right? A lot more on B. It's on A. Jacob, though, just a goofy little spot because he can see the shadows, but it doesn't make a difference. And we will clean him up. Oh, man, and if they bursted super fast, they could have been in with some decent A control. They've actually put the brakes on to potentially switch bomb sites. I think that is indeed what they're going to go for down the connector. I feel like he's the right play here as well. Just try and see if they can find a little bit of information elsewhere. Just leave kind of Emmy and Veggie here to see if anything uh, comes forward. No one's rotating from B just yet. They're, they're so aware of this. So they're scared of it in a way as well. 
I think offering up at least for the time being, and there is a call now to be made probably at some point for Apex of do we gamble? They've gambled towards A, which is the right call. They've left just Casanito over towards B. And as that smoke comes over, surely Cassidy's going to think about rotating soon. On spotted him. He's lucky to still be alive. Only took one bullet. Doesn't quite connect. Kick Sam Will, however. Yeah, and the next time of asking. Oh, he loses his head pretty quickly, but it's Nork that strikes in from Optimus. Playing nice and safe, nice and patient. And now the clench comes in. Down to the USP. No time. It will be a one versus one, but yes, indeed. No time for the bomb plant. Casamito just has to stay alive. We're going to try and find him on the exit. Ooh, and he might round this corner, you know. Oh, my goodness. Half a, half a second. second longer, and maybe, <laughs> maybe he could have found it. All the same. Not a massive fan. Pompa, you know, I know it sounds silly, but just kind of thinking too much. Yes. Get that first kill. Pretty advanced on A already. Just gun it, right? It's early in the game. You don't have to overthink things that hard. Um, I agree. Even switching bomb sites, not the end of the world, but then they didn't even do that. So, you know, I don't know that the thought ever crossed Apex's mind that it's like, oh, they're, they're showing presence on A, but now they're going B. But actually, they're going to be A because they've not, you know, it's yeah, just too yeah. many moving parts, man. It's a bit of a weird one. I think, honestly, and I would very, very rarely say this, um, but this feels like quite a unique example. I th honestly think Pompa played too slow. And I think it's costing them a lot. Nook holding. Ooh, he just gonna just gonna fall away. Doesn't even wanna doesn't even wanna test that. I don't really blame him, to be honest. First time with that AOV be in play, he wants to try and make it as effective as possible. Veggie gonna be the first to fall, however. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, I honestly think Pompa play a little bit too slow, especially when they get advantages. Obviously, not this round, as they are yet to really find too much. Four by three, nearly. Nearly uh, selling sense down the river, but a short player, ineffective so far. Yeah, I, I think they maybe almost play a bit too much like the underdogs, you know? Um, it's like, oh, okay, it's going to be difficult to out-aim these guys, so we have to use our heads a bit more. And sometimes, yeah, but other times, again, especially early on in the game on the T side, just kind of really stretch the limits you know see how much you can kind of get away with that's what i'm more of a fan of because now apex have got all these rounds they've got all the control it feels like they're dictating the pace way more they're dictating where the fights go down saw it in that round with some nice advanced moves from jacob so yeah i think pompa super early into the game but are just kind of letting apex in a bit too much and it should be the other way around you know I apex agree. should be the ones having to change things up and guess what's going on and adapt to aggressive situations or whatever the case may be. Yeah, absolutely. Pom going to go for that early tack as well. That's something they did uh, back in our previous series in map number one. They actually caught it straight away after the first round. Um, I don't mind this. I think Pom uh, are one of those teams, which is a nice thing to see. They're, they're very happy to use up their tack pause. And sometimes we see teams kind of sit on it a little bit too long. And we saw Aurora do it a couple of times where they let teams back in and before you know it, they're in trouble. But Pom are more than happy to call them and them in succession as well if needed so before four nil down i think uh so to say apex looking considerably different to what they did against ftw they really struggled against uh ftw to get any sort of kind of consecutive rounds together this is a lot better jacob he may have heard that step dropping down in from ladder hence why he's sort of in the air and you see the short player as well coming to support him nice little one-two punch there they do try and pop through con Homburg kind of feels like they don't really know where to go from here. They've got okay space over towards Fountain. Uncontested. I think that's the biggest thing. They've yet to really see too much action apart from now. Jacob swings in for one, finds it, traded by Han immediately. Not bad. Not bad for the T side. It leaves a gap in that CT defense, particularly towards the connector area. And they can't really get too advanced on A now. So this is the sort of control that we were talking about. Pomper have wrestled a bit of that in their favor for round number five. But still not a super advantageous position, of course. Kicks on on the spots. Nothing quite coming. Nork round the corner again. Goofing with these shadows. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. Oh, he shoots a little early around the corner, but he's still in a decent enough position to try and give it another go. Now he's definitely How is he alive? in his bed, but Kixon's <laughs> got him covered, man. 15 seconds left here, Nao, bro. Yeah. They are nowhere near this A-bomb side. B-knock's low. They're saving. They don't fancy it. Yeah, they're moving out. Oh, it's looking rough, Pompa, man. It really is. 
you know, once again reaffirms the idea I was talking about earlier as well about how I just think they play a little too slow. It's another great example of it. If they had like an extra 10, 15 seconds there as they were taking those fines, even if they get traded, it's fine because they can still fight their way up on towards the A side and maybe even get a bomb plant. A bomb plant plus a loss bonus that they've currently got alleviates the pressure of the situation quite considerably. But no, instead, it again, reaffirms the idea that they're playing too slow. They're not giving themselves enough time to work in the late round. You cannot afford to do that against a team like Apex when they're actually playing well. They're more than happy to sit back on site. It's allow individuals like Kicks from that round just to sit from site itself and deny you any sort of entry. You need to have time to trade them out. And uh, unfortunately, Pompa never seemed to be able to do that. So, like you mentioned, Lost Brennus is kind of keeping Pompa afloat right now. 5 nil down, however. And obviously, like we mentioned, this is their map pick. Pompa have to win overpass if they want a chance in this series. And yeah, I mean, right now, not looking too great at the moment. Close and personal here. Ooh, the smoke has been awkward there, but he manages to get away with it. Flashes are dodgy. I think it may well have been a team flash there. All the same, all the kills go in the way of Apex. Phoenox in from short, trying to find the head here. He is being watched, and it's by the orb. See you later. Han alone, and Han in for another save. Apex continue to win. Yeah, I mean, honestly, now not, not surprising. Again, really well played sense, called upon. He's anchoring a, a pretty tough position, especially when you're playing over towards that left-hand side of Monster. It's normally just considered, in our eyes at the very least, a one and done, right? Get or kill, into the trader, but good for himself up to two and stay alive as well. So, not bad. The big question, of course, now being, can Han stay alive? I don't know whether he clears this properly. Oh, this is so janky. Oh, don't do it. Yeah, he was tempted to knife, which I respect. I respect, but uh, he was flicking around all over the place. It probably would have been too much of a risk. 6-0 for Apex. Can't really, uh, you can't really do much better to start things off. Really nicely done. Very simple, very effective. And there's very little that we need to see change from Apex at all. But Pompa on the other side, it's a whole different kettle of fish. They are struggling at the moment to get any sort of kind of form, any sort of... Uh, control of this game on the T side. I mean, granted, one of the more CT side of maps we have in the pool, but I don't know, I'm not seeing right now. I'm very concerned and worried about Pompa just getting absolutely destroyed here in map number one, and that, uh, you know, kind of lack of confidence transitioning into map number two as well. Casanito, nice start. Yeah, and once again, Pompa on the back foot. It is with the pistols, so a little less salt Ooh. in a round like this. Jacob knows what's up, taking his peaks nice and clean. And then he'll drop back. Ooh, it's, it's so beautiful to see, man, you know? Not getting greedy. Not letting them in at all. Really, really solid discipline here from Apex. I think that loss earlier has perhaps woken them up. For sure. And they've definitely been rattled a bit by um, that upset earlier. I mean, like you said, against FTW, it was a it was a no show. Really, just could not find any sort of form. It's a two zero, and like you mentioned, not even close. Thirteen nine up the one, thirteen nine up the two. It was dominant. Veg gonna find himself a consolation. That's probably all that it is. Hans, all that's left. He has the bomb. He's clearing everything, but his toes are getting tapped away. My Casanita at range seven zero. I'd love another pause by Pompa, man. This is rough. I mean, it gets to a point as well where there's no point even saving pauses at the moment. If you just get destroyed in that first half, it's, you know, you're going to be at such a big mountain to climb to get back into this game. You may as well call them now. Even if it's at the cost of using all three in the first half, just stop this ship from sinking at the rapid pace that it is. Here we go. A bit more pace out from Pomper, I suppose. No one uh, to meet them, unfortunately. And I think they've really made their presence known here. So Apex laying down the utility to just slow them for a time. There is information and, of course, a blank for Kicks in here. Sets a nice little flash for himself. Casanito going to be the first one to pick up a frag. Everybody chiming in now. Crunching them. 
forcing them in towards B with only two players left. Phoenix low on the backside. Beggy can't land his shots. Nobody can. Wow, this is so, so dominating right now. Apex are just rolling over Pompa on their own map pick as well, just to, you know, add insult <laughs> to injury. There's that second tack pause we were talking about. They're good. But they're getting them out. They, they've got to try and cut this off at the source. I mean, it already feels too late, but, you know, better late than never is kind of the anecdote we're going to go with here. They have to, have to get round on the board. At least, you know three at this sort of rate if they want any sort of chance of survival we see nine threes get overturned anything less feels most definitely out of the realms of possibility but fair play man this has been really really good showing so far so good if you're apex absolutely nothing needs to be changed and obviously everybody's stepping up as well this is something that has been a bit of an issue at times you have individuals like maybe um you know the youngster of sense or you know the agile of kicks who have been a little bit quiet in the fragging department, but they're confident. You can see it in the way they're playing. Of course, leading to a very simple game of Counter-Strike so far. Well, we'll see. Maybe a bit of desperation with a buy like this might be what Pompa need. Pressure off. Let's just send it, boys. Go for a boost there in the playground. Nothing presenting, uh, though. Morals, the first one to fall. Jacob is running rampant from this. <laughs> He's uh, having front, so much fun. Bathroom's position <laughs> is just frying them, bro. Honestly, he's having so much fun in the server right now. So, for now, what do you do if you're Pompa in this situation? They are struggling to do anything. All goes a little bit quiet though. 50 seconds to speak of. We already mentioned it once before. Time and time again, Pompa have been playing things too slow and have been punished for it. With the numbers advantage of favorite Apex, they are so happy to sit on site. They don't need to look for information because they can just play trades on towards the site itself. All the onus on Pompa to do something here. Catching the contact. Yeah, not a chance. They know what's up, man. They're just reading them so well at the same time. You know, there's individual play in there, of course, but they are just in their heads, it feels like, you know. Textbook stuff from Pompa, and it's not going to work against Apex, I suppose. It is rough. It is rough, to say the least. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I, I, I don't really think there's too much... Honestly, there's not really too much analysis you can do on this one. It, it's a mismatch right now. Pompa haven't even scratched the surface. Like you said, you know, individuals like, like Jacob, for example, free roaming in the way he is and just playing with such confidence. Really actually refreshing to see. Especially for Apex, who've been going through a lot of... Um, yeah, a lot of... A lot of... Um, Kind of turbulent in terms of the results of the last season. Sands full blind. We'll find the kill on the less. B Nox tries to go through that smoke to his demise. Another opening kill going the way of Apex. Yeah, the desperation turning into frustration, you know. Just can't catch a break right now on the Pompa side, it feels like. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's been an awful long time that they've even gotten near a bomb site, you know. Nork. In on the road. Smoke refreshed. They were about to go through it. So they will be sat here for a little while and it's just the two of them. Not much to work with. Yeah. It's ready for the smoke. Trying to see if they can just hear a tag more than anything. Trying to get some sound cues. And obviously, a little gap opens up in that smoke. Lovely new CS2 physics, which I'm a big fan of. Seven seconds. Cass needs a spot of them. Double swing over towards that monster. That's some short plays and trouble. Heavy goes down, and so will Veggie. No surprises to anybody. Another flawless round. Apex 10 and 0. Lord have mercy. This is a massacre right now. The uh, the age old Simpsons meme stuff, but he's already dead. Is kind of where my brain's going to right now. There is, yes, yeah, not a lot going on.
Last time out used. They just they just want a round. They just want a damn round at this point. Just one. Is that too much to ask for? Of course, Apex have got plenty of money for the remainder of the half, and they are looking down the barrel of uh, a pretty quick first map here. But the best buy that Pomper have had in a little while, a bit more utility than in some of the previous rounds. So I'm going to try and put that to their best use, I suppose. Mm. I don't know, man. Some some kind of execute type play. It's difficult on overpass to get those going, I, I suppose. This is one of the things and, and why it is a bit more CT sided. It can be very, very hard, as we are witnessing, to get your T side off the ground. Um, there are less sort of options for set rounds and mm. things like that. A lot of it is dependent on the mid rounding for the T side. And when you're losing uh, players in the first 30 seconds pretty consistently, it can be hard to pull off those mid-rounds. Kicks on around the smoke. I like this. They've had a lot of free reign in front bathrooms and up to fountain. And this time, they're kind of pushing that note a little further. Kicks has got so much space here and he'll gain so much information in a moment when he spots that no one's home. This is rough. They're going to get insta-flank. They will not even be expecting it. Oh, no. Kicks on is just continuing to get a lot of information. Body could overextend. There's one waiting. And then you'll catch him. And now that could tempt them to rotate back towards A. Because I know that was probably a lone, lone uh, ranger going on his own to try and find something. Double nade over towards barrels. No one's home. Still, though, first time in uh, a long, long time that they've been in a winning position. Beggy with the information. They are just kind of waiting to see what he can find. And you know what? If he keeps on going, it's going to be that open bomb site. Still keeping attention over towards B. Difficult spray down descent, but he gets it done. It's actually uh, Casanito behind him that finds the frag. All the same, this advanced position from Beggy is now becoming a flank. But look what Jacob's done. He's dropped the bomb. Dropped the bomb. For goodness sake. 25 seconds. I don't think they can win the round from here now. I don't think they can win the round. I'm not even sure they can't. <laughs> especially because Jacob. Especially, especially now. Yeah, especially yeah, now. There's but no like, chance. You, know, you kill, kill the guy, get your knife out. You could maybe sprint it all the way to B with no resistance, but obviously they would have uh, taken some fire on the way. So, <sighs> bro, you got to feel for them at a certain point that, you know, Jacob just strikes at the perfect time as per usual. Yeah, yeah, that is it. 11-0, man. This is... This is brutal. This is, I would probably say, the most one-sided game I've cast in CS2. I'm, I'm like, a strong, like, 95% sure. Because, like, the rounds haven't really even been close either. I mean, most of them are getting kind of completed in, the like, the first 40 seconds. It's, uh, it's one-sided, at least. Last four bites come out for Pompa. They've got a quad Galil 1 AK setup. Decent utility, but confidence are probably an all-time low right now. This is, uh... It's rough. Apex is showing their prowess. This is an Apex who people, myself included, have question marks about. And my god, yeah, they are making this look easy. Casnito finds Beanox to open things up. It's been a rough half for Counter Strike for Beanox and well, and Emmy so far, both 2 and 11. Yeah, minute and 20. Like pulling teeth for this one, isn't it? Oh, oh. no. Bruv. 3 HP. 3 HP. Yeah. You know, like, it, it really is tough. Jacob, once again, in his favorite position, sees the shadow coming, pre-fires in. He's been doing that a lot, man. Playing around with these shadows on overpass is uh, a hell of a lot easier than it used to be. That is for damn sure with the brightening up of the game. Beggy and Morals, then. For the first round, what can they get done? There goes one. A couple more heads got to roll before we start the leaving. Ooh. Or up at the back end of the site, able to pick off morals. Just Mr. Veggy remaining. I think he's been spotted as well, so they'll start to make moves to deal with him. Flash over the top. Nork will take his time, but he peeks around eventually. 12 2 0. Oh. One more round will do it for Apex. We'll see if they can get it in the second half.
Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gents. It's been a pretty quick half of Counter-Strike. Uh, for those who are only just joining us, welcome to what potentially could be the last round of the map as we enter the first round of the second half. 12-0 Apex, a massacre to say the least. Uh, it was, wasn't even close. There was no competition. Apex are making this a, a walk in the park and they could finish it here. Just to remind you all as well, this is Pompa's map pick. Yep. So if it <laughs> couldn't get any worse, you think, uh, it kind of can, to be honest. And the next map is not the most comfortable for them. Sense going to find the entry. B-Rush coming in. There is a flank. Oh, and they have struggled to see it. B-Nox actually comes away with three kills there from behind. Will be dealt with, but then there's another one. Morals with his dual lead brings it down to just Casanito. <laughs> Clean frag. Bring us into the one versus one. Emmy. Going for a fast reposition here, I think. Going to try and get in behind him before that bomb gets planted as best he possibly can. Mm. Or does he think that maybe he's going to rotate up? Either way, he's got the best of both worlds, right? He's got a bit of a flank. I don't think he will expect him from here. But we'll see. Maybe again, uh, yeah. a case of uh, overdoing things ever so slightly. He's down quite quick. He's only going to lose a few seconds, I think. But Casanito's cleared out a, an awful lot um, of the extremities of B, so... He seems to have a good idea of how to play this one. Just going to chill in Monster. I think he will have heard that water yeah. as well, right? I think Emmy just stepped or fell off something, it looked like. Either way, Emmy does not have a lot of time to play with now. Tap onto the bomb. Casanito just going to play it nice and slow, nice and patient. Ten second time has gone. Round no over, time. bro. Game is over. <laughs> oh, so God. nothing can be done. The bomb will go off momentarily. And that will indeed be that. 13-2-0. I Woo. don't really believe my eyes if I'm honest, folks. <laughs> like that's crazy. That's that is crazy. the first my, my one. My first one. Yeah, so. first one for me as well. That is insane. Like, let's not beat around the bush here.